This channel right here mostly just helps people travel smarter by giving them travel guides and stuff of that nature. And this channel right here has only 30,000 subscribers, yet this channel is pulling in a million views per month if we take a look at their statistics right here. And that million views per month, if they're making $10 per thousand views from ad revenue, which I would venture to guess they are due to the fact that travel is a pretty high CPM niche. And the reason it's such a high CPM niche and CPM is simply how much money you make per thousand views on your channel is because some of the biggest advertisers on YouTube are travel companies. In fact, one of the biggest is Expedia. And what types of ads do you think Expedia is going to put their videos on? It will likely be travel videos. So this channel right here would likely be benefiting from that. Now, a couple notable things to see regarding this faceless channel here is the fact that they have 800 videos on their channel. And the channel itself only started two years ago. So the fact that this channel stayed consistent, they uploaded a huge backlog of videos, and even though they have not uploaded in the past four months, they're still able to pull in that million views per month. And that's why people always come to me and they say, Matt, YouTube's not passive. I have to keep uploading videos more and more. Not necessarily the case. I still make money from videos I uploaded when I was just a teenager in high school, and this channel hasn't uploaded for four months, yet they're still getting a million views per month, which could be $10,000 per month in ad revenue alone. So this channel right here, another thing that's notable and that proves a concept that's very important on YouTube is the fact that each of their videos doesn't have a ton of views. As you can see, only 600, 900, a couple thousand views on some of these latest videos right here. But then if we go to the most popular tab right here, you'll notice a couple of videos like this guide about what to do in Doha, Qatar got 192,000 views. This one got 147,000. Still no videos with a million views in sight. Yet when you add all those videos together, that can pull in a million views per month. They're also doing some short form content as well right here, as you can see. And if we go to the most popular on the shorts, we only have one with 390,000 views. So most of these views right here are likely coming from the long form videos right here. And the reason that's important is because the long form videos are the ones that can make more money because more advertisers want to put their ads on videos where people are likely to be actually watching through. And that's the reason why I personally focus only on long form content throughout 99% of my channels. And you could find stock clips for most of these places right here on Storyblocks. For example, if you search Doha Qatar, you'll find tons of great stock clips. In fact, over 330 videos that you can use within your videos if you were making these types of travel guides, which literally just consists of doing a voiceover on the video. You can simply use your phone to do the voiceover. You don't need any expensive microphone if you're just starting this. And then you could edit the videos together using any free video editor out there. For example, here's a bunch of free ones on the screen right here and Storyblocks even has an epic built-in online editor which I've done a video here on my channel going over using and I was actually really surprised at how good it was. Yeah.